often, particularly within the development community, climate is still seen as an environmental issue when it's really not. It's a social and economic issue. Climate change touches every aspect of economic and development issues globally and it's so geopolitically complex. It's right. the most geopolitically complex global issue that I think we face. A lot of what we're facing is unpredictability. It's uncertainty. It's new forms of risk that come from not knowing what your weather will be like. Climate change is is here to stay. This isn't a one-off and we need to be prepared to help um, not only ourselves but uh, our suppliers deal with this. We really have lost the mitigation battle as the only or the most important solution. We need to adapt. We have to start communicating much better what climate change means in our cities, how vulnerable we are, because that of course will make people conscious and make them want to change some of their habits. And so thinking about how to approach climate change, how to create a a, a, a lexicon around it in a way that's approachable and that local stakeholders can, can recognize that their community has been adapting. You know, whether a country reduces its vulnerabilities to climate change has a direct effect on the resilience of the economy, on, on value chains in the market. You know, and so those things can be quantified. And when we quantify those in monetary ways, that helps make the business and the economic case to align private sector investments toward low carbon, climate resilient development. Half of all the new electricity infrastructure built last year was actually renewable. So here is an extraordinary illustration of how just in 10 years, the necessity to change and the opportunity to do so have come together to transform the global energy market. But it seems to me a no-brainer that, say, if we environmentalists want to succeed in our mission, we can only do so with the cooperation of the local people, wherever we're seeking to work, and the cooperation of the local government to ensure that our interventions will also allow for economic progress and for people to be lifted out of poverty. Even if we get it right and we start to invest in people, we have to do it taking into consideration our ecosystems and our environment. We can no longer do what we've done before. It's not sustainable. Um, it's not even necessary. The way we consume, we can change. Old ways are not providing a clear response to climate change because you need much more varied a combination of knowledge uh, than you had before. The people who knew about biodiversity, the people who knew about uh, uh, physical geography and the people who knew about development economics. Uh, you need to bring them together. If we continue pressing against or transgressing over the planetary boundaries, there is no amount of economic growth that will procure human well-being. And, and that model of development is simply over if we want to preserve the people and the planet. That's the Agenda 2030.